Hi, this is John Carney, Product Engineer at Cadence, and this is a quick how-to video on setting up match groups for relative propagation delay. You'll want to go into the Constraint Manager and select the Relative Propagation Delay category. Then you can select all the nets that you need to have in your match group. So I'm going to select the first net, hold down my Shift key, and select the last net. Then from your right mouse button, choose Create match group. It's going to show you all the nets that you have in your selection and you can name the match group. Note that a net can exist in multiple match groups so you're not limited to one match group for an existing net. Once that match group is created in that same relative propagation delay workbook if you scroll to the top you'll see all the existing match groups in your design Here's the one that was just created. And now you can see here's all the nets that are in the match group. Now you can fill out the match group rules that you want to have. If you have an electrical constraint set, you can pick the electrical constraint set. If not, you can pick out whether the pin pairs are all drivers, all receivers, longest pin pair, or longest driver receiver. You can specify the scope is global or local. Typically this is global. Local would mean it's only within that bus and doesn't apply to anything else in the design. Then you can specify the delta and the tolerance. The delta is the distance in time or in length that is either plus or minus the target net distance and the tolerance is a plus or minus on top of that. You can then specify one of these nets as a target if you want to. So if you have a clock net or something like that, you would typically specify that as the target net. Once you specify the target net, then that net will be the target and all other nets have to have a relative distance or length in time from that target net plus or minus the tolerance. 